We are back again and it's finally warmed up at 60 degrees today. I'm, I'm doing a little more cleaning in the garage. Uh, I'm going to be listing some four-wheeler stuff on eBay and I found this is the diesel heater that I made the mistake on that I didn't treat the diesel fuel and the fuel gelled up on and this thing is a disaster it's clogged it quit running and I had to pull the wiring harness in the computer and I put a new heater in the garage to keep heat last year but I want to show you in this video what what will happen when your diesel fuel is not treated and could possibly gel up your heater as you can see there's so much debris already just falling out of this thing see that look at that that's from gelled up diesel fuel I can't imagine having this happen in your diesel truck or car from not having the additives into the into the fuel so yep this is gonna be a dirty one so first things first I'm gonna take this apart now I do know we have a hole here because I did pull the wiring harness from the, the ECU and the wiring harness are together. When I replaced this, the model that I had that I'll have a playlist below that I rebuilt before, um, the controller wouldn't work with the previous wiring harness, so I ended up pulling this computer out and this fuel pump and hooked it up so I didn't have to install another wiring harness. Uh, for that other heater and I changed out the glow plug and the other piece now this was a, this is a very popular model this is the Vivor which I've done a couple reviews on some of their products um, great products all made in China the problem is parts can't get parts on these diesel heaters that are Chinese the only thing you can do is you can try to buy the parts that match the color of the parts that's why in some of my other videos I recommend that H calorie brand because they sell parts to match the model that of the heater that you have the, the only other option you have is to go and buy the German ones that are a thousand dollars I can buy ten of these for the price of the German one so what I'll do is I'll take this apart and show you what not treating your fuel is going to do to your diesel heater what we'll want to do first is go ahead and pull this temperature sensor and it's just got a metal metal rod that keeps it in place and it just it's very cheap and it just senses the t the temperature off of the housing then we'll want to pull the glow plug next I'm not gonna actually this isn't going to be a rebuild video because I've, I'm missing pieces off of this. When I sell that other heater, I'll just put these two together. This is the glow plug tool. The socket to remove. Take a look at that. Broke the glow plug. Wow. No kidding. Broke the glow plug. Holy cow. This is what I'm saying. You With these, you have to have spare parts for these. Broke that right in half. Take a look at that. Broke that. Bro bro. Wow. Well, that's junk. I'm going to throw that in the trash. Well, I guess I'll keep the temperature sensor. Then we'll have to remove the screen. That'll be interesting. What the... We'll go ahead and use a pick. I'm going to mangle it, but... Get 
this out of here. What's this look like? Okay, this thing is plugged. I don't know if you can really see that. It, it's so plugged that it that, you, know, you can't get any airflow out of this thing. Again, you can buy these by the 10 pack for a couple dollars. If I have any links below, they're basically standard, they work for every model. Then what we will do here is their four millimeter. We're going to break this. Uh, this is for the uh, the burner slash blower motor assembly. There's one. Ah. Uh. There's two. Ah. Look how rusted these these are already. This will be three. Then this will be four. Well, at least these aren't, these were actually, oops, these were actually in there pretty tight compared to the other model. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, oh, wow, it just pulled right apart. There's not even a gasket. Holy cow. There's no gasket. Take a look at that. There's supposed to be there's supposed to be a gasket on this. Oh, there is a gasket. I'm sorry. It's stuck to the uh, to the top of the assembly. Usually they're green. They're the same color as uh, the housing. So basically, real quick on the gaskets, there's two different types of model of gaskets. You have your 2 to 3 kilowatt gaskets and your 5 to 8. So whatever your, your heater is labeled as will more than likely be 5 or it will be labeled 2. You need to get the correct gaskets that are minimal money. Again, put the links below. And uh, for the heater before you take it apart, you might have to wait 2-3 weeks to get these parts. If you order them direct from China, otherwise you can uh, look them up on Amazon. Affiliate link in the, in the description below. Then what we have is we have four bolts here for the burner. Get these broke. Oh, there's one. Go to two here. Two. There's three. Then what you'll have to do if this happens to you or you get bad fuel or your fuel gels up, here's number four. You'll have to clean this out. I'm going to clean this out and then put this thing together at a later date. Uh, I've got a really good rebuild video on one that didn't need to be taken apart. You just have to go to my page and find it. And then we'll pull the burner out. And what we have is, look at the burner here. See the debris? And this isn't bad compared to what I saw on the internet. Basically, I think what happened was when this gelled up, and created this is basically like a fluffy unburnt fuel this is unburnt diesel is I think the screen got clogged the glow plug couldn't couldn't get the required air 
to make the burn inside the chamber and I'll try to get a better angle here and the inside of the housing actually isn't too bad Let's see if I can get a better light the inside of the housing isn't too bad but it's got a lot of debris in there and one way to stop this if uh, if, if you're if you it just depends on how you're using this um, if you're using this to heat your RV or garage and you don't have it set up for you know it, it, to, to run on high what will happen is if you run this all night you'll get this soot and stuff inside of here this unburnt fuel and what you need to do before you shut your heater off and go on with your day is you need to crank the heater up to 10 as high as it'll go and let it burn for maybe 10-15 minutes on the highest setting available and what it'll do is it will burn all the excess stuff uh, and keep your heater clean if you do that. Do that every time you use it and just let it run and burn all this out and then it'll be less problems down the road. Then let's see see if we can see inside the burner and you can see you've got little bitty ports in there and it's pretty much all sooted up it's not clogged down in there but it is sooted up so yeah this this pretty much shows that you need to use a fuel treatment some type of fuel treatment to treat the fuel to keep it from gelling up and keep it clean and yeah you just got to keep an eye on where you're buying diesel you do not want this problem if you don't have a lot of money so that's pretty much it okay so this pretty much concludes uh, the videos before I get back into the ATV stuff so I'm gonna be throwing some of those outlaw parts on probably my eBay channel when I start working on that again Everything that I pulled off, I'm probably going to end up selling before the four-wheeler goes so I can recoup a little bit of money before I put that four-wheeler on eBay. But, uh, yeah, so this is a mess. I don't even want to deal with this. Um, I'm to the point now where I'd probably rather just throw this thing in the trash than get all dirty and mess with it. But someone at the garage sale, when you sell something used, I rebuilt that other one, and I'll clean this up and just tell them there's enough parts here for... Uh, for further use. So, yeah, I'm out of here.